Welcome to the Museum of Artifacts That Made America and the story of an American invention that changed prosthetics forever. This is the earliest known example of a prosthetic or artificial body part, a wooden toe found attached to a 3,000-year-old Egyptian mummy. While Roman general Marcus Sergius is thought to be the first person to wear a prosthetic limb, an iron hand he had made to replace the real one he lost in battle. But when 18-year-old Confederate soldier James Edward Hanger was hit by shrapnel from a cannonball at the beginning of the American Civil War and lost his right leg, his only real option was a peg leg, a stiff, clumsy prosthetic that had been around for centuries. At a time when the loss of a limb was often equated with the loss of manhood and virility, peg legs were a source of embarrassment for men who wore them. But Hanger had studied engineering at Washington College before signing up to fight. So rather than settle for a peg leg, he returned home to Virginia and began designing an alternative. Using old barrel staves, bits of rubber, and metal hinges, Hanger created the world's first articulated prosthetic that could bend at the knee and the ankle, just like a real leg. His unique design was so effective, in fact, that the Virginia state government commissioned him to manufacture more. And after successfully applying for a patent for his invention and setting up his own company, Hanger was able to help thousands of wounded soldiers get back on their feet. We've seen a steady evolution in the manufacture of artificial body parts since then. With new materials and technologies at our disposal, what do you think will be the next advancement in prosthetics?